last time I talked to you, I told you how to start donating to cancer foundations and all foundations in general. I also told you my mom's story and how she makes angels for each patient within each chemo care kit. So I'm not only going to show you how to make each chemo care kit, but I'm going to introduce you to my mom, Jody. You can make an angel for any occasion, any person. You can personalize them however you want. There's a few things you'll need, and I wrote them down because there's a lot. You'll need a material like pillow sheet or just any material. Sewing machine, hot glue gun, iron, a uh, half inch styrofoam ball, lace or any ribbon, um, gold or white ribbon, a gold cord, beads or buttons, and this is the part where you can like personalize whatever, whatever, oh, yeah, whatever beads and buttons you want to. It looks backwards for some reason. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is cut a circle of your sheet, about 14 inch diameter, I wouldn't recommend going any smaller, but you could go bigger if you wanted. And you want to put, or you want to pick out a ribbon, like we did this one. I think, yeah, we did something like this. Mm -hmm. And you want to sew it all the way around the edge, like this. Sew it all the way around the edge. And once you have that done, you want to take your styrofoam ball and put it right in the middle of the circle and bring it all down to make the head oh like this then you want to tie you want to wrap string around it and tie it off to make like a neck and then the next thing you want to do is you want to have about a two foot piece of patterned material or whatever we're using this one and again, you want to take another ribbon and tie around the ends, like this one. We did this. And once you do that, you're going to take it and fold it in half and sew down the seam. And we already had this done for time purposes, but you want to sew the seam. And then you want to, what, what kind of stitch? Basting. Basting stitch all the way around it. And don't make a knot at the end. And slowly, you're going to pull it to make like a singed thing. Like a, I don't know how to explain it. Like a, it's just like a cinch. 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 Cinch it around the neck. First do it small enough. Like don't start it around the head. Just do it small enough and pull all the way until you can fit the angel head around it. And then pull it even tighter to make sure it stays. And then knot it up. And that's called the apron of the angel, if any of you are wondering. Once you have that done, we do the hanger, right? Yes. You want to take a small, any kind of ribbon, we just use this small, thin ribbon, and you want to make it about eight or nine inches, and cross the ends, and glue them to the back like that. So it makes like a hanger for the angel to hang on. And using the same small ribbon, you want to take it all the way around the angel's head to make like a halo, just like that. Glue it, just hot glue those. Then the wings. You want to take a wired ribbon, wide, wired ribbon, any color or whatever. And you're going to fold that in half like this. Glue it, wait for it to dry. Pinch it in the middle like that to make wings. Glue it. And once you get here, you want to tie a string around it. We have one done. Just like that, so it makes it tight. And then fluff out the wings. And then once you have that complete, you just want to take it, and I'm going to hot glue it, and you want to just stick it right there in the back where the hanger is. So, you do that. And then hold it there for a couple. Oh, wait. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And the last thing are the arms. And this is where your buttons come in. And you're going to want to take a piece about two inches in height and about five, six diameter, or di diameter in length. And you can make these any size really you want. And you want to fold it 
and iron each fold so you get creases just like that and fold it all the way up to like four like quarter folds and then once you get to here you want to fold it again once more and then you're going to sew right down the edge just like that we had i have my arms already done you want to take the ribbon that you used for the hanger and the halo or you can use a different ribbon and just glue it right down the middle wrap it right around the neck of the angel just like that oh my wings came off that's all right and then you don't have to glue it you don't have to glue it but then you can add any button or beads or ribbon whatever you want for the hands and that is how my hands came off again. That's how you make an angel. Like I said, they're super easy. There's a lot of things you kind of need, but they're really easy. And a fun gift you can make for anyone at any occasion. I think those are good because you can always give them to people who really need them and they really will feel special. And I hope you guys make them for everyone else. Thanks. Bye.